Hey everyone, today I am joined by the amazing Amanda Walker. Amanda is a health advocate, transformation mentor, root cause ninja, educator, mother, and truth teller. And today we are gonna walk through her brand. We're gonna reveal all of the visuals, talk through the brand story, and all of the good stuff. So thank you, Amanda, for being with me here today. Thank you, and when you say those things, I get like, yeah, excited. <laughs> Yay. So yeah, that's part of what we uncovered during this work together. She um, really works with women and her business. I'll let you speak a little bit more to this, Amanda, but she really helps women feel amazing naked. Mm -hmm. So we're going to dive into that. Talk about why that's more important than ever right now, um, especially with what we're going through in the world, you know, um, not necessarily just feeling amazing naked, but really taking care of ourselves and being nurtured. And Amanda is, like I mentioned, a root cause ninja. So we'll get into what that means as well. So Amanda, yeah, I would love for you to just tell our audience, thank you for those of joining us live on the replay, please say hello. Um, just to fill them in a little bit more um, on what you do and who you serve and what your work is in the world. Thank you. Um, it's been really fun going through this process together though, because, um, not only do I feel like I am a root cause ninja and what I do, I feel like in a lot of ways you are too, because I've gotten clarity in my work with you mm -hmm. going through this. Um, but I think now more than ever, one of the, um, one of the main root causes that I find that women really struggle with is time. Right. And now more than ever, we've been like gifted time on this beautiful platter and um, we get to pull back the onion layers and really dive deep into what's stopping us from feeling amazing naked, feeling good in our skin, feeling great in our you know, physical self, but also in our emotional self. And you know, when we're put in the circumstance that we're in where we have all this time, we can't use it as an excuse anymore. Mm -hmm. And we get endless times to really work on ourselves, um, visit, you know, externally and internally. So I really feel like, you know, this too shall pass. There's so much uncertainty in it, but um, the, like the really huge opportunity in this moment is to work on you. Yes. That's so good to work on you. And then our families too, right? And if we're stronger women, then we can support our families more and we can support our communities more. So it's, it's just so beautiful how that all works together. Right. Uh, so we'll dive right in. Um, the first thing before we dive into um, the brand manual and the brand guide, I would love to just hear from you for our viewers what your favorite part of the process was or maybe what you didn't expect that did come out of it. I've had a lot of, um, for those of you watching, we've had brand reveals the past couple days. So you can go back and view those. And I have a few more coming up. So make sure you catch those. Uh, but specifically today, yeah, I would love to hear one of the common themes, I guess you could say, is that branding is so much more than what people realize. It's so much more than a logo. So I would love to hear that from your perspective. Yeah, I mean, of course I echo that same testament. But one of the things about my business is that I had a service first and then a business came after it, right? I started serving people kind of um, not having ever uh, knowing where I would be now. And so it's kind of thrust into business, the business piece to which I had no experience. I, I wasn't living life going, I'm going to be an entrepreneur instead of like, I want to serve people. The business fell in. So don't have a business plan. I really have been, you know, doing a lot of things just based on intuition, which I think is a great thing too. But for me, the process also really helped me get more clarity surrounding who am I as a business owner? What are the, the values and morals that, um, like I want to be a constant thread throughout this business as it grows and new branches spread from like this trunk of who I am. Mm. And, you know, as simultaneously going through this process, I had, I have been rather building a team that, that comes along with me on this journey. So what I'm really excited though about is being able to, you know, walk the talk as far as what those, um, you know, um, values are within my business and make sure that I am leading with those values um, to all of the people that I'm working with, my contractors, parts of my team, but also in my clients. So for me, that was something that I've really taken away um, as part of the process. 
Awesome. And I'm glad you brought that up too, because a lot of times, you know, each, everybody I work with is different. We all come into entrepreneurship in different ways. You know, I came from the corporate world. Some people, that's what they've always done. So on that note, before we dive in, one more thing, I would love for people to just hear a little bit about your journey and your background, because it is really unique how you, you had an amazing background and just how you ended up in this space. I think it would be really cool for people to just hear that. Sure. I'll try to like, you know, condense it, but <laughs> I was, um, you know, I went to school in science and have uh, degrees in physiology and teaching, taught high school anatomy and bi biology for years, kind of still knowing there was like a flame of something more. Mm. Fast forward, <clears throat> you know, I became a mom, so much changes then, and still really felt like there was this um, intrinsic need I needed to serve a higher purpose. So going through some of my own struggles and, you know, gaining weight, having health issues, not feeling good in my skin and then ultimately kind of chasing that so hard I became obsessed with that physical part of transformation and when I got to like that finish line that I think many of us see is this place we're supposed to go I felt very dissatisfied and unfulfilled and so mm. that brought in this side flank of work that I never really expected to be the most passionate piece which is helping women kind of flip the script on the way they approach health and starting with the mind and the internal piece and focusing lots of our energy there and then the physical side kind of just falls into place and so here I am now just you know working with women in a few ways to like flip flip that approach a little bit ah it's such a great story and I think that's also really great for people to hear right now because so many people unfortunately are laid off or on a pause with their work so for those of you that have a dream or something's kind of bubbling up with you in a purpose and you know just Amanda's story is really um, amazing on how if you follow that you can be successful if you just follow that passion and and work hard on it you know yeah I mean I thoroughly believe in now being here and, and leading women to, I also lead women um, you know separately to begin to build their dreams as well but I do believe passion and experience trunk academic in a lot of ways um, not to say you don't need both, but I think there is so much um, value in being so passionate about a topic. Mm, yeah, that makes so much sense. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing that. I think that will really touch a lot of people right now, too. So let's dive into the brand mm -hmm. manual first, and then we will go ahead and um, dive into move things around the fun visual piece. All my screens going here. All right. So here is the brand manual. <laughs> so we'll walk through this and just talk a little bit about um, the process, your experience. Those of you who have been watching the brand reveals, you're used to this by now. But my hope for you is that you just understand, see different perspectives and how how these really come together. Um, for different women in this case, although I do work with men, but it just happens to be an amazing group of very powerful women um, in this last cohort. So again, this the purpose of the brand foundation is to really support the essence and the positioning of Amanda's brand and really consistently across all marketing vehicles. Because once you have that core message and these core values down, it really allows you to not have to think about what you want to show up and say and do, and you can, you know, instill this with your team. Um, so as we go through here, you mentioned your, your brand values and getting clarity on those was a huge piece of the puzzle. Um, and then also the vision, mission, and big ideas. So I'd love for you to talk just a little bit more about, you know, your favorite piece of this, um, the clarity that you had, maybe, you know, these big ideas. I know the root cause piece was, was really important to you. Yeah, I mean, so much is learned through this experience. And um, it was like looking at, you know, if I when I my clients leave their work with me, what are the skill sets that I want them to truly like, what is the key to success? So for me, it's, it's all about sustainability. And one of the mm -hmm. things I, you know, I'm always saying is sustainability is sexy. And um, if we want to feel sexy, it takes consistency. Um, so that was definitely a piece that um, 
is true to, to all, I think any woman or man trying to make change. Um, and understanding that how we approach change often is, you know, not necessarily from the root up, but sometimes we try to come in at the middle. And um, so that's definitely helping, um, you know, wanted to make sure the big idea for all clients is understanding that self-awareness is everything. Mm. Um, and when you can be self-aware and understand what those lower level pieces are for you, what's really holding you back and start to find ways to manage them and fill tools in your toolbox, then that leads to sustainability and consistency. Yeah. So good. And I think the the last thing too, that I really like is it's, you know, the, the work is actually a lot deeper than that, than just the typical health coaching that's out there. No, nothing against that by any means, but really that you have that blend of science, the mindfulness, the academia, all of those things to really get to that root cause. Mm -hmm. Plus the little bit of woo, yes. <laughs> which is always woo. good for... <laughs> Welcome to woo. <laughs> yes. Um, and then the brand story, again, um, this is a lot, so I'm not going to go through all of it. But um, this is really what, you know, I feel like is my secret sauce in helping my clients being able to speak about their work really coherently and consistently. And so you had a really great thing. Actually, it'd be a great time to talk about your quiz because people could mm -hmm. go and take it. Sure. <laughs> um, but if you want to talk about how the manual actually helped in that process too, that would be great. Sure. Well, I think one of the things that just to toot your horn a little bit here too, is that when you go through this process, I think one of the um, errors that especially new entrepreneurs make is we know what we want to say, but when we're out there and putting ourselves out there, we're saying it in our words instead of our client's words. Mm -hmm. So taking the space to create, if you will, this library of deeper understanding of what their unique words are. And for me, when women work with me, they complete an application first. So the beauty of that is I do have their words at my fingertips and I can say like, and deeper understand because the more we're in alignment with their vocabulary, the more likely we can connect, we can serve them better. And I think this is where passion and experience go back to is you too, like have empathy for um, me as a client because you've stood where I stand. And Absolutely. so I think that's the really great part about the brand story is it takes us back to that point because so much of the time we're serving our clients, like the, especially if you're, if you were once your avatar, right? Is that that was you years ago. And so we forget, we still have some of those like lingering, um, you know, struggles, but we forget what it's like to be in those shoes and connecting to that, that vocabulary is really hard. And that's why I developed the quiz was I want clients to go through this journey of ahas. Um, so when you take my quiz, you get to answer questions that help you unearth the root cause. The truth is really what I'm calling it of what's been holding you back. Cause for so long we think, Oh, we're going to change. I'm just going to change my food and my exercise and it'll all be grand. And we do that for a short term. And then we realize like, well, I really didn't change anything. Right. I just mm -hmm. did this short term intensity piece. So the quiz just helps, you know, uh, use the vocabulary to have a woman experience an aha moment that helps her see, oh, this is really the true reason I'm not getting where I want to go. Yeah, so good. And I think that, yeah, it just gives you that, like you said, I love that you use the word vocabulary because that's really what it is. You have that, you have it in a manual, you can refer back to it. If you ever want to work with a copywriter, it's right at your fingertips. And it's so brilliant too, that you had already taken the steps to get that intake, um, that intel from the clients when they're talking to you. So it worked out beautifully. It was made my job a little bit easier actually to make the brand story because you had that. Can I also add, you said copywriter, because I actually did just work with a copywriter this past mm -hmm. week. And before our meeting, um, she was helping not, me not flesh out my brand, but to start to dig deeper into some of the core offerings and some of my signature programs and start to work with me on some flair to those. And before our meeting, I actually just sent her my brand manual and I was like, here's more about me. And she was very grateful and she loved the vocabulary and took pieces of it and weaved it into some of the copies she provided. So it was so nice to say like, here I am and not mm. necessarily have to wait. I don't want to say wasting the space of getting to know each other, but when, when you are working with someone on a short term basis and you want to get going and get as much content built as you can, you know, that's the, um, that's the beauty of something like this. Yeah, you have the foundation. Awesome. 
<laughs> and then this last piece is, you know, the last page I always really kind of work to summarize the entire brand and business down into a few short sentences or sayings, um, tagline. Um, it just depends on each business. So for you, it was, we really came to this place of it's, the whole thing is to feel amazing naked. So it's feel content, feel empowered. And one of the things that you hear your clients say all the time is they just want to feel like themselves again. So feel like you again, feel amazing naked. Mm -hmm. um, so let's see. Now we can go ahead and go into the fun visual piece. I'm just going to switch over here. And guy, so now we have um, your final logo, which we went back and forth on a lot. If um, you look at your current logo, it was similar. They had a script font to it, um, but you had said, you know, I kind of want to up-level it, make it a lot cleaner, the overall website cleaner. So um, we took all of these pieces from the brand. So sustainability is your core. So that's on the top, transformation, vulnerability. Then we took the supporting ideals and those target descriptors, which is, you know, women have to be consistent, make that connection, make conscious choices, and ultimately be very confident. And that all comes out of the sustainability. Then, um, and you can see here, it's the Amanda Walker logo. Then to make a branded system, what we do is always make sure that those logos complement each other. So Feel Amazing Naked now has the same attributes where it's just really clean, simple, straightforward approach, but it also has that feeling of um, like a, a luxury, just really clean and also approachability because um, Amanda, you have this amazing combination of being very approachable, but you also are like, straightforward, no BS, you're not going to sugarcoat things for people. Your goal is to help them. Yes. So this blend really um, fits that really well. Love it. And then here we did an extension of your personal logo because you mentioned that you always sign your signature with the AW. Um, and I'll let you talk a little bit about it it too, actually, um, let's, I'll stop sharing for a moment, how um, we kind of transitioned from your current business name into your personal brand. And then we can go back to sharing how that correlates into the logos. <laughs> yeah, I came into this too very confused because I think like most entrepreneurs, there's this evolution that happens through your business. So when I started, I had just very arbitrarily, just in a brainstorming session with my husband, choose this name, A Walk My Way, because I'm Amanda Walker, A Walk, go by that all the time. Um, and when I was teaching, I was, you know, Walker or A Walk. And, and so kind of came up with this, never knowing that this feel amazing naked concept would end up being um, so powerful and was resonating with so many women. And so then this like question of, well, am I Amanda Walker? Am I a walk my way? Am I feel amazing naked? Like, where do we put all of this? And ultimately, I am who I am. I want people to know me for my first name. Um, and then these are just extensions of me and kind of seeing that it's okay to evolve and like it honor, um, honor what was <laughs> and those names and there's value in all of that because it got me to now, but just being able to reframe it as me as a person, I am my brand and feel amazing. Naked is an extension of what I do. I have one-to-one -one coaching. The podcast is called feel amazing naked. And then also this inner circle program. So it's really for me, huge clarity and like, here I am at the top and here are the parts of me and those parts might continue to shift, but there's a system and an understanding of what's in place aesthetically as well. So we can cultivate those things through time. Yes. So that's so beautifully. And that's one of my favorite. I get so excited when I create the branded systems, like you said, it's like the extension because that allows you to show up as a thought leader, as yourself, like you mentioned, and then pivot over time, like you said, we evolve. So five years from now, you know, you probably will still have Feel Amazing Naked. And then we're going to also translate the Feel Amazing Naked um, into a podcast logo. 
Um, but maybe you'll have, you know, 10 other things, <laughs> who knows, or mm -hmm. they just may shift. So now that you have this system, it's very easy for you and your team to, to make a new logo. It's not like you're every time you're creating a new offer or a new program, you have to reinvent the wheel. And mm -hmm. that's what I find that so many entrepreneurs end up doing. And then they end up with a very disjointed brand in the end because there's all of these pieces over there. So I love to really bring it in and streamline it. Mm -hmm. uh, so thank you for the opportunity because yes. it makes me like all excited. <laughs> me too. Um, okay. So I'll go back to sharing and finish up here. So yeah, again, this stamp will really be great. Like as the favicon in the, um, the website, uh, it can be used as an Instagram stamp. It can be used as a watermark, like over images and on the website. So it's really, really cool. And that's literally like how you sign things. So it's such a big piece of your personality. And then, like I mentioned, um, the next piece will be, um, you know, feel amazing naked podcast. And then we'll also be able to extend that into the rest of the pieces of the brand and the website. And I love that. I mean, even a further backstory is when I was a teacher, you know, well over now 15 years ago, that's how I signed, you know, that's how I initial tests and papers and signed passes, you know, so it's really kind of fun that it, it gets to come here with me too now. That's yeah, it's so cool. And you know, like when you were saying you kind of like releasing a walk my way a little bit, I'm sure people, if that's your nickname, people will still call you a walk and this, that still gives that sense of like AW, you know, yeah. so, it's so cool. And here are your colors. So one of the things, um, you know, the current website has mostly black and this light pink. So we're really capturing and, and bringing though that thread through, but you're also the type um, we've, you know, we talked so much about this, but you live in Arizona, you like to go hiking, you like to be outdoors. Um, and so it's not like when we say feel amazing naked, it's not like boudoir sessions and like this glamorous thing. It's like real and raw. And so the colors that I picked reflect that. So we have this jungle green, a deep blue kind of earthy tones, but they're very deep and like still sensual, I guess you could say. And then this glitter gold that could just be a nice complement, um, kind of the sandy color, nice calls to action. You always need at least one poppy color for like call to action buttons and um, secondary pieces, especially on a website. Um, so, okay, let's go. And then the last piece is the fonts, of course, and then photography. So we have a few pictures that you've already used in your brand. Um, but this picture especially, and you have some really amazing branded pictures Will already. Will you share screen? Oh, is it not sharing? Yeah, go, I didn't realize you were, I thought you were going to share. Oh no. Can you go back to the colors too? I, I yes. was like, hmm. I realized we've <laughs> Thank you, you for go, telling me. Yeah, I will you go back one slide? Will you go back um, maybe one so we can see pictures all together? Yes. Okay. There we go. We okay. can see. Perfect. I knew I them. Say anything. <laughs> no, I knew them from the previous slides. I was like, oh, she's going to show me. And then I realized you didn't. Yes, I love the blue ever since we talked weeks ago, too, because the one of the things I shared is like, I'm a jeans and a t-shirt kind of girl, like cutoffs. You can find me probably in cutoffs and a t-shirt most of the time. And so then when that deep blue got really resonated with me with the earthy tones of just simplicity. Um, and so when you showed this like big picture a while ago, I was like, oh, yes, I love the combination. Yay. And I know a lot of times you wouldn't think of the soft pink with those deep colors, but I, you know, if you do it right, it can really work well. So I can't wait to dive into the website next and like really mm. bring it to life. So on that note, then we have the imagery and you'll see kind of how that <coughs> can tie together. Just this really, like you can see across the board. And of course, these are photos that I'm pulling to get the feeling eventually when our world gets better to a normal place. You'll be able to take more pictures of yourself with these things um, and with your clients. So this picture down in the bottom, you've already had taken with your clients, just a brilliant picture. It has that blue. It has the, the peachy skin tones. Um, this color you had, and there's so much green and you in nature, um, you know, like making conscious food choices, you know, you as a thought leader, you with clients, 
and then really just, you know, other women showing up, um, feeling amazing naked. Yeah. I love it. So, and you know, we've talked a lot about like the website and how we can incorporate more of that blue and green and earth tones and the pink. So mm -hmm. cannot wait to dive into that. So that is, um, I'm stoked. Yay, yay. <laughs> yay, I'm really stoked. I think that, um, yeah, I'm just excited to see all of the logos put together, you know, to start to flesh out those unique programs and, um, it just feels fluid mm. instead of choppy. And that's what I was really excited for to have clarity moving through this process. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing that. And thank you so much. Um, it's just been an honor working with you and learning more about your work. So you guys, if you want to learn more about Amanda, go take the quiz. And that is currently on the A Walk My Way site, correct? Or would you no, feel amazing just, naked? Yeah, go feel amazing naked.com forward slash quiz. Yes. And that site will live. And then we're also going to be working on an Amanda Walker site, which is going to be beautiful. So um, stay tuned for the next reveal. Um, later this week, I'm going to reveal a few websites of clients in my last cohort. And then all of these ladies, as we finish their websites, I'll be asking them back to reveal their websites because then it's really fun to see how this is like the first step and then how it all translates there. Um, and then, yeah, is there anything else you want to share, Amanda, or anywhere else people can follow you, say Instagram, Facebook? Yeah. So, I mean, listening to the podcast is a great way to get to know me. That's, okay. you know, feel amazing naked podcast on all pla podcasting platforms. Um, and you can find me on Instagram at a walk my way. I'm very active there, but, um, just lastly, thank you. It's been super fun and I'm excited to keep adding different layers and just encouraging, you know, I spent most of my time for the first five years of business, you know, designing in Canva and working with Fiverr and, and, um, what I would say is, you know, play Monday morning quarterback. I'd only wish I would have done something like this a bit sooner. Mm. Um, and so that would just be my words of wisdom is um, this is a great way to bring clarity in all the pieces from, you know, you can't read the label from inside the bottle. It's one of my favorite things. Mm -hmm. And um, it's wonderful to have somebody else who can look at the bottle from outside and help you along. Awesome. Well, thank you for that. And everybody, yes, from what Amanda's saying, if you're ready to step into this, I am having another cohort right now. I know a lot of people are kind of waiting to see what's going to happen in the world, but it's really a great time. Like Amanda said, to work on yourself, work on your self care. And then also, you know, you're having more time to work on and in your business. So if branding is something that you're looking forward to and getting these results, getting really clear in your messaging and your visuals, um, just hit me up and we can talk more about that. I do have a few spots left in that. And I'm also working on a specific messaging um, cohort that's a little bit lower investment for people. So yeah, just DM me on that. Follow Amanda and we'll Thank see you. you back here tomorrow with more reveals. Bye everybody. Thank you.